so often in the first round of the NFL draft, you see a lot of wheeling and dealing. Maybe not so much with the number one pick this year. There may not be a guy worth it going and getting at number one. But after number one, maybe even top five, do you see some movements and trades? I really anticipate maybe a small move in the top five. Detroit to number three with Oakland. Philadelphia at number four, maybe going to number two uh, with Jacksonville. But after the top five, if one of the offensive tackles, Eric Fisher or Lane Johnson, is still on the board, assuming that Luke Jokel goes number one, at number six, Cleveland, that's where the phones will really start to ring. We'll see Miami or San, San Diego move up into that sixth spot to take the third tackle in front of the Arizona Cardinals. You may even see the Cardinals make a move from seven to five to make sure that they get one of these offensive tackles. But where all of the wheeling and dealing will really begin is at pick 13 where the Jets have a second number one choice and you look at teams like Cincinnati who has two number two draft picks, you look at San Francisco equipped with 11 total choices, Minnesota with 11 total choices including number 23 and number 25. Those teams can target a particular player and say this is the guy that we have to come out of the first round with and those are the teams to keep an eye on in terms of moving up into the middle of the teens uh, down into the 20s to go get the player that they covet the most. Real quick, give me, uh, give me a guy that maybe would be available at 10 or 12, 13, 14 that some of these teams in the late 20s may want to move up and get. Well, because of all the offensive tackles coming off the board, and if DJ Fluker goes at 11 or 12, mm -hmm. then I think teams are going to be real interested in Menelik Watson, the junior tackle from Florida State. Keep an eye on Tyler Eifert, the tight end from Notre Dame as well, an outstanding pass catcher. And then a couple players on defense to watch. Tank Carradine, the defensive end from Florida State, worked out this past week. He seems to have cleared the medical hurdles. And then the corners. Xavier Rhodes, Florida State, Desmond Trufant, Washington, and maybe even Jamar Taylor from Boise State are all three corners that teams may potentially move up and try to grab. Of course, Trufant as well as Taylor, both senior bowlers. It should be interesting in the first round of the NFL draft.